I, I don't know, you know, people on the internet really don't know how to stay spinning, bro. Like, when you was on No Jumper, uh-huh. you, 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 you opened up about, I mean, I think, Wag 100 brought up Yella uh-huh. and he was going to call him on the phone and uh-huh. y'all did a song and dance, uh, you know, off the cameras, uh-huh. I think, from what I heard. Um, what was that all about? I mean, why do y'all, what is it? What are y'all trying to do? Are y'all trying to come together and resolve y'all issues? Are y'all trying to, or is it really something that y'all trying to fix? Or or what is it? What 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 is it? You know, people look at me and be like, oh man, you would rain or you, you know what I'm saying? I don't um, even know what's going so, on with so it. So let me ask you a question. Do you do you see anybody anybody trying to put Jordan and Pimpin back together in the same room? No, <laughs> exactly. The, the Bulls are still playing. <laughs> the city of Chicago ain't trying to fix nothing that happened in the past. It's cool, man. We just we achieving life. We achieving our goals in life, and we trying to make it for the next generation. See, I'm here to stay. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let's get to it, man. Like, you, if you was able to be in that meeting, I seen that Sean Cotton interview uh-huh. with all the bloggers and yellow. If you was in that interview, what would you have said? What would you have said to to talk about, you know, what was going on with what happened with Dallas and all the stuff that transpired? I, would, I wouldn't even talk about what was going on. I've been sitting there. I've been, if I was in that meeting, the first thing I would have said is, he coming in May. And they'd be like, what? And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, though, why y'all not playing my shit? And I just keep on saying, y'all, we need to think about the future. He coming in May. <laughs> he coming. This whole meeting is to, to derail y'all from Mo3 dropping on May 31st. You know what I'm saying? That, that's a, so this whole meeting is to derail y'all from what's really finna go on. You know what I'm saying? So no, we gotta stay focused here. And every time they would have been over there talking, hit the whole yeah. But we just saying though, did you get some plat? Did you get some plat? I got plats for everybody May 31st because it's going platinum. He's coming May 31st. <laughs> <laughs> but we've heard you said many times before that you gonna drop his album. You gonna cut. You gonna drop it. I, and you ain't never done it's, it. Oh, it's finished. It's so finished. how you? It's, it's finished. It's been three years. I've, I've been doing this. I've been doing that for three years. So it's done. You got everybody to everybody sign off on everything. Yeah, and it's, it's done. Did Boosie sign done. off? Yeah, no. So you took that out? Yeah, I, I took it out. What other ones you took out? That's it. That's that's it. Uh I still got we got a deluxe, so I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop then then I'm 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 gonna drop, then I'm hoping to go number one on May thirty first, and then at the, I think I can get boosted on board. Wow. You, you doing it dropping at midnight like everybody else be dropping at midnight? Nah, three o'clock. Everything threes. Threes. Okay. Everything threes. Do you okay. Is who all on the album? Can you share a little give us something? No cap. He on there. Finesse two time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh Tory Lanez. Uh uh. Oh, uh, Rallo. Rallo. Bam Goon. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, about four. Wow. That's how hard. many songs? Sixteen. That's okay. good. Sixteen songs is real good. And then and then we're gonna drop another album at the end of the year. You're gonna do another one? Uh which one harder? This the hardest one. This still gonna be the hardest one. That song you let me listen to on that thing? Yeah, that's on the Oh, Ty, oh, Ty Harris. I'm, I'm sorry, Ty Harris. Ty Harris, is a, Ty Harris is a sensitive motherfucker. He'll be mad at me if I left his name off. Ty you Harris. put Ty on there? Ty Harris, Ty, Ty, Harris got a, Ty Harris got the baddest song. You think so? He is that the, your favorite song on there? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Came Up. Yeah, Ty Came Harris, Up. Ty Harris got the best, the best song. Uh, the best song on there. Mm. I, I want to, I, 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 like I said, I know you said that's what you would say, though, but, you know, um, Hit Mr. Hit that had a lot to say in that meeting. He was he was probably one of the most vocal people in that meeting. You know what? What did you did you think it did good for the city? Mm-hmm. Do shit for the city. Them people still wait for my response. <laughs> what did it do for the city? They still ain't posting. <laughs> he ain't came out with a new project yet. I'm just right. saying they ain't do shit for the city. Man. Okay, but you are talking about a city. Do you think it resolved anything between them, the people that was nah, on because the- it wasn't genuine. It was just who go post me, who go do this, go do that. It was, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't genuine. What's genuine? If I was sitting there meeting, I'm saying, I, I was sitting there saying, bro, okay, we, bro, we ain't talking about you no more. What we gonna do to help these new niggas come so they won't fall out? 
Z Nerd. We go to Z Nerd. Bumper John said, Hey, Montana, yo, Key, Montana 700. The, the uh, little chop, man. It's a lot of motherfuckers that's hot right now. We talking about some. But I think I did hear him say something about them. He did yeah, say, but, he did mention But them. that's a platform where, where that's a big platform where we could just keep on yelling their name for the for the world. You know what I'm saying? What we gonna do? We can't, we need to go to South Dallas, help Brenda, the little girl that got a baby that, that don't know what to do. There's some girls that stuck in them hotel room. You know what I'm saying? Them kids who mama's up there, they're uh, leaving them at home at night going to go, to go party and come back home. We need to go, we talk about that girl that died in the garage with her son. And, and, and all this, we got a lot of shit to talk about when we talking about some rap shit. When we got the perfect platform to talk about shit that need to be talked about to help the city. Wow. I, I, I I don't know, you know, people on the internet really don't know how to stay spinning, bro. Like when you was on No Jumper, uh -huh. you 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 opened up about. I mean, I think Wag One Hundred brought up Yella, uh -huh. and he was gonna call him on the phone, and uh -huh. y'all did a song and dance, uh, you know, off the cameras. Uh -huh. I think from what I heard, um, what was that all about? I mean, why do y'all? What is it? What are y'all trying to do? Are y'all trying to? come together and resolve y'all issues? Are y'all trying to, or is it really something that y'all trying to fix? Or, or what is it? What, what, what is it? You know, people look at me and be like, oh man, you would rain or you, you know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. even know what's going so, on with so it. So let me ask you a question. Do you, do you see anybody, anybody trying to put Jordan and Pippen back together in the same room? No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the Bulls are still playing. <laughs> the city of Chicago ain't trying to fix nothing that happened in the past. It's cool, man. We just, we achieving life. We achieving our goals in life and we trying to make it for the next generation. See, I'm here to stay for a long time because, you know what I'm saying? See, certain people don't know how to evolve with the situations that's going on in life. You know what I'm saying? When I was a club promoter, then I sat back and said, who I'm tired of passing out these flies? I need to start fucking with the artists. And then the dancing era came through, and I made a bunch of money out there. And then and then Dallas stalled for a little bit because it was no more money. And then with then I got me an artist and, and named Mo3 because I couldn't th make no more money out the dance artists because they they stalled. So I got Mo3, and then that situation that situation came, 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 and now it's left. Then you got to keep evolving in life. I can't keep on asking no blog, why y'all not posting Mo3? Why y'all not posting this about Mo3? That shit came and left. It's time to go to the next the next stage. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk about shit that happened in the past. Now I get on these platforms and make other uh, other opportunities. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Bigger opportunities. Uh, the, 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 the situation. Shout out to Unique Red. You know what I'm saying? Unique Red. That's a that's a new artist that you and yeah. and uh, Sean Cotton is is linking together to 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 help uh, uh, put light on her career, give her opportunity. And we having a young black girl. And she's from uh, San, Antonio. She's San Antonio. Yeah, baby. shout out to San Antonio, man. Yeah, she gave she she gave her daddy all the credit that and she loved her daddy. Uh, her baby daddy died in jail. She 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 says and and, and she was the person. You know how them baby mama be like. I I wish you this. I wish you die. I wish you get out of my life. This next. She really got out of her life. So now she taking care of his other daughter and and, and they son together. So I shout out to her now. And she just putting in her music, trying to make the best the best of what it can what it do. So the last year since I met her, I've been on it for a year and never put nothing behind her. Uh, she was working hospice. Really? Yeah. So she watched people at the last stages of their lives. You understand what I'm saying? At the last days of their lives, so she humble. Yeah. So you know, um, uh, we're just trying to change lives. So that's why we got on the podcast to do to help try to change some people's lives instead of talking about shit that happened five years ago, ten years ago. The shit that don't even matter in life no more. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.